so he's not unmuting. What is the distinction between a bailable and a non-bailable offence? I already mentioned that the distinction between bailable offence and non-bailable offence is that in the case of a bailable offence, the offender has a right to bail, has got the entitlement to bail as of right. He has the right. The bail cannot be refused to him. It is a bailable offence. You may refer to paragraphs nine and ten of Rezikilal versus Kishore, 2009. Volume Four, SCC Four Four Six, Two Thousand Nine. Volume Four, SCC Four Four Six. The magistrate or court is bound to grant him bail in the case of a bailable offence, and uh, uh, the accused is entitled to have to uh, is who is alleged to have committed a bailable offence. He is entitled to bail as of right. Yet another decision is Vikas wow. versus Vikas versus State of Rajasthan, not Vikas Chaturat. Vikas versus State of Rajasthan, 2014, Volume Three, SCC, 321. But in the case of a non-bailable offence, the offender is not entitled to bail as of right. It, it's his right to bail is dependent on uh, various uh, factors like the existence of any prima facie case or reasonable ground to believe that the accused committed the offence. Number two, the nature and gravity of the alleged offence. Number three, severity of punishment in the event of conviction. Number four, danger of the accused absconding or fleeing from justice if released on bail. Then yet another parameter is character, behaviour, means, position, and standing of the accused. Supposing he is a habitual offender, court will be hesitant in granting him bail. Then likely of the of the offence being repeated. The likelihood of the offence being repeated. That also will, is one of the parameters which the court will have to go into before granting bail. Then reasonable apprehension of witnesses as being influenced or intimidated. See, if he if he is capable of this person is capable of influencing or intimidating the prosecution witnesses, then also the court will be hesitant in granting bail in a main non-bailable offence. Then the relative position of the victim and the danger of Justice being thwarted by the grant of bail. All these considerations, parameters, will have to be got, looked into by the court before granting an order for bail in the case of a non-bailable offence. You may refer to paragraphs 17 to 19 of Anil Kumar Yadav versus State in City of Delhi, 2018, Volume 12, ACC 129. AIR corresponding to AIR 2017 Supreme Court Y398. I'll repeat the citation. 2018 Volume 12 SCC 129 corresponding to AIR 2017 Supreme Court Y398. That is the main distinction between available and non-available. Yes. Uh, 